The first step in replacing the motor mounts is to place a jack under the engine and support it. Make sure you use a block of wood or some newspaper to protect the bottom of the engine case from damage. Once the engine is supported, you can begin by removing one of the bolts that fastens and holds the motor mount bar to the mounts. The mounts themselves are located on the engine compartment along the back shelf. Remove the long bolt from the center of one of the motor mounts. On later cars, these bolts are threaded into the mount bar itself. There is no nut on the other end. These bolts are often rusted in place and should be lubricated generously before trying to remove. A sticking bolt can actually bend the mounting crossbar when you are trying to remove it. It's advisable to replace each motor mount one at a time. Once the center mount bolt is removed, then you can simply remove the entire motor mount by removing the two smaller bolts that attach it to the chassis. Installation is the reverse of removal. The transmission mounts are very similar to the motor mounts, except for the early cars. Unfortunately, the early cars have a one-piece mount and support bar design that is no longer available. The rubber transmission mounts are embedded into the two-foot-wide support bar that mounts the entire transmission to the chassis. Sometimes good used mounts can be found, but they are getting scarcer every day. Later style 911s, 1972 and on, were equipped with a transmission mount bar that incorporates replaceable mounts. These mounts are very similar to the engine mounts and should be replaced in a similar manner. Make sure the transmission is well supported with the jack before you remove either of the transmission mounts. As with the engine mounts, work on one side and complete the installation prior to removing the other side. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.